And we have continuously highlighted that New Zealand will have cases of COVID-19, uh, particularly, obviously, at the border. There are 8 million cases worldwide. We still have New Zealanders returning home. What this does prove is the importance of a rigorous system at our border, of us continuing to be con very, very cautious in our management and taking the cautious approach that we have continued to take as a government. Obviously at the border there is a reason that we have a very rigorous process. Um, it's exactly because at the moment COVID is surging worldwide. New Zealand may be in very particular circumstances, the rest of the world is not, which is why our border closures and our quarantining process and all of the standards we have remain so important. We have had two cases, these are two women from the same family, one in her 30s, one in her 40s who recently arrived here from the United Kingdom. Uh, they have, uh, were tested yesterday and uh, the test results came in this morning. Uh, both women arrived in New Zealand uh, together on the 7th of June and stayed in a managed isolation hotel in Auckland and were permitted on compassionate grounds to leave managed isolation to travel to Wellington via private vehicle on 13 June. A new case is something that we hoped we wouldn't get, but it is also something that we expected and we have planned for. That is why we have geared up and continue to gear up our contact tracing at a local level and national capacity and capability, as well as having our excellent testing capability so we can respond rapidly.